Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today, we are getting rid of this lousy shower head that comes uh, standard in our Echo. Had the same thing in our Travato, and we did this mod in there. So I think this is one you guys are gonna wanna pay attention to. So really the thing is, is this thing's annoying. It does leak a little even when it's fully in the closed position. It has a little stopper right here. Um, and that's just, you know, frustrating. Um, and it just shoots out like a solid, like, one stream. So it's not really that good. So we're going to upgrade this, and we're also going to upgrade the little uh, stopper plunger button thing here too. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. So what I did was I hopped onto Amazon, purchased the same shower head right here let's see if it'll focus there we go look at that so much better shower head uh kind of the five settings here adjustable um and is a uh uses a little bit less water too so that's pretty cool and then the other piece that we got was a new stopper so that's right there see that kind of slides to the side a lot more handy comes with everything you need the gaskets even plumbers tape so it means I don't have to get out in the 95 degree weather here in New Mexico hop to the back and search for my plumbers tape because I don't really know where it is <laughs> so that's kind of cool that they threw that in there but uh, yeah these are the only two pieces you're gonna need I'll throw down in the descriptions links to these uh, via our Amazon affiliate we get a few cents and you guys uh, help support the channel. So we appreciate it. And we appreciate everybody that has purchased previously through all our links. All right, so to start with this, you're gonna uh, wanna make sure that you have the water obviously off, your water pump off. Um, you can try to push out any excess water after you have the water pump off out of the line if you don't wanna get water on the floor or on yourself. Uh, shouldn't be much. And then this right here, you should be able to separate these pieces all by hand. Um, Hopefully. <laughs> you should be able to though. Uh, and uh, they should come apart fairly easy. A little hard to film in this tight space, so I'm a little close to the camera right now. Uh, but I didn't drain the water, so you know, don't do what I do. <laughs> um, so I got a little bit of water in the line, as you can probably, yeah, you might not be able to hear, I have the AC on. Because like I said, it's like 95 here today. Um, so here we go, got that taken off from there. Did it by hand. Uh, it was a little tight. Set that down in the base, let any remaining water drain out of it. But that was a little tight, but it did come apart by hand. And as you can see, quick turn, and I got that one apart. And there's some line water in the line right here. So I'm just gonna put the line down here on the ground, let it drain out, and then I'll uh, catch up with you uh, once that gets that little bit of excess water out of there, I'll dry it up a little bit uh, with a washcloth, and then we'll get these new ones on. Probably the easiest mod you'll ever do, but I'm telling you, we did this in our Winnebago Travato, and it just made a world of difference, especially in that, because it just didn't have the on-demand hot water like we have in here. Um, but for water pressure, different settings, so you kind of, you know, can change the settings based off your preference, and uh, the stopper, because it just seems like those ones that come from the factory, even though they are an oxygenics, and the new one I got is an oxygenics, it's just a lot lower quality grade. Um, so, another thing is, guys, make sure you get the correct color that you want. So, I just reordered what we did for our Travato and uh, yeah I didn't order chrome I wasn't really thinking so this is chrome in here what we have already as you can see all through here uh, but this is kind of the like brushed nickel I don't mind it's not that far off and to be honest uh, it, we really don't care we're going for function here but they do have the options for black chrome or brushed nickel so just a heads up so one thing you will notice when you're pulling out your new oxygenic shower head is that it comes with the same exact hose that is in your Echo or your Winnebago Travato, and it comes with the same mount that is already on the wall. Difference is, this is a brushed nickel, that is chrome. The hose 
looking at it, the hose itself is chrome, but this is brushed nickel. There we go. Um, so I could theoretically unscrew everything here and swap it out. And then just our handle there would be chrome. But like I said, we really don't care. Um, it still looks really good. Uh, did the same thing in our Travato, looked awesome. But really, it's the functionality. But just if you're a little bit OCD about that kind of thing, um, you'll, you'll wanna make sure you order the, the chrome one to match if you have an Echo. Uh, but as you can see, this brush nickel is pretty nice and it won't really look too different. So let me uh, get this hooked up and then show you guys the final results. All right, I know I said I was gonna catch you guys with the final results, but I wanted to show you here is that plumber's tape that's included. And you're just gonna wanna run that around this thread right here. Sorry about the focus all. It's catching my face. You wanna put it around that thread. I know many of you have probably done plumbing and you know that, but just in the case anybody's out there and they're kinda new to this world and they're looking into doing this easy mod because they want a better shower head. Just peel that off there. Wrap it a few times around the thread. And this right here will make sure that you don't have any leaks, um, unlike the uh, stock one here. <laughs> and for people new to the uh, whole plumbing world and stuff, here you go. Let me get it to focus. That's what it should look like. So I wrapped it around three times. Um, it's got a nice, uh, you know, tight uh, fit on there. You'll be able to see the threads. And that right there for uh, beginners will help you prevent leaks quick and easy just wrap it around a few times I did like I said I did three and uh, then hopefully no leaks and here's the new oxygenics oxygenix head that I showed you guys here's what that looks like also has threads so you're gonna want to throw some of that plumbers tape around that too because that is your two possible leak points that you want to make sure you have that plumbers tape on on those threads so when you screw them in because it a nice tight bond you know a seal no leaks all right everybody there is my final product and as you can clearly see there is a color difference but it's not too bad as if any of you know brush nickel copper obviously it's uh, different but it looks okay and we'll get the job done so put it back up in its holder here you can see what it looks like door on the echo will still closed and it's actually even farther back now the shower head so it actually won't even bump the door as much and this might be a little bit better for Brittany because if she's like washing her hair and she goes to rinse it, she has to hold with one uh, hand. It takes longer because this is with the old head just wasn't the right angle. So I think she'll be able to get the right angle now to wash her hair. So uh, for women with long hair, that might be more beneficial. But you'll see like i said the original one i probably should have showed you guys but it's just like one stream is all it is it's just one stream this is like a regular shower head so let's test it out show you how this one works so that way if you have an echo or travato you're looking to do this mod or really any other rv because a lot of rvs use that basic like one stream head uh, that i think is just horrible uh you'll be able to switch it out all right so first off, sorry if the air conditioner is loud, it just kicked back on. I'm not sure how my audio is coming through, but I just tested it out. As you can see right there, holding it, no leaks. And I will mention there is a uh, stopper right here, which is way better than the one on the original. Uh, but we really recommend adding this second stopper uh, shut off valve um, that I talked about earlier because this will still leak out of here just a hair um, we have noticed so let me uh, open this up trying to do it with one hand because I grabbed uh, the camera off the tripod to try to make this a little bit uh, uh, better visually I guess okay so don't know if you can see that I just opened up the one valve at the bottom and you can see it's leaking some but now look at let me get down here And that is just one of the settings. So let me uh, hop it over to another setting and show you that. All right, so now I've hopped it over to another setting. I have it on uh, the shutoff valve, kind of like on low. But, and there you go. You can see, it comes out like a regular shower head. And I'll just turn this valve. And then now you'll see, 
is the excess water in there dripping out. No leak. So, yeah, make sure you got the water out of there. But now you can see, no leak. Looks good. We are in business. Usually easier to film these things when Brenny's here. <laughs> I got that uh, second hand to kind of film me doing some of these mods, but she is actually at work today. She's on contract here in New Mexico as a travel nurse. So I've been doing some editing this morning, making some phone calls because we have some, uh, how do I want to word this? Really cool plans in the future, but then we also have some really awesome mods coming that I'm not doing. Uh, I could, but it's way too hot out down here in New Mexico. Um, and I really honestly just don't feel like doing it because it's pretty intensive. Uh, it, would, it would take me a while. So definitely doable. Once you guys see what it is, some of you will say, oh yeah, you know, I've done that or I can do that. And it is, as you guys seen, I love my projects, but just not feeling it. So this, this weather's kind of, it's taken it out of us and it, we're at like a high elevation too right now and it's this hot still, so pretty crazy. But that is all for your shower head, shut off valve, mod. We really recommend that you definitely give this a try if you're looking for a better, more residential feeling shower head that actually saves even more water. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Brittany does too, even though she's not here. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this quick, easy mod. Anybody can do it. Links will be down in the description. We'd appreciate it if you guys gave us a big thumbs up on this video. It helps with the YouTube algorithm, helps get us out there. Uh, we really like sharing um, everything we do to our echo to our travada what we did to our storyteller and we really enjoy sharing our travels and like i said we have some really big plans coming up so you're going to have to stay tuned this fall it's going to be a really fun time and then after this contract Brittany is going to be probably taking six months plus away again from work but this time we're not going to be having her battle with cancer since she's already beat that so we're gonna actually be able to hit the road and travel and do some awesome uh, domestic and international travel. Um, you know, maybe a couple weeks here and there, go abroad, come back, explore another couple states, repeat. So we're really excited about that. So if you're looking forward to those types of things, definitely subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell and put all notifications. It'll make sure that you get notified because we do know because we've been messaged by people or told by friends that they aren't getting notifications always. So make sure you do that. But until next time, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day, safe travels if you're on the road and just get out there and explore. About to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see